Hey Antonio, I have trouble seeing at night time, and so do my daughters. What is happening? Do I have night blindness? Well, that's a very good question. To tell you the truth, every human eye struggles to see at night time, it's because our eyes are not very effective without much lighting, and that is why we need lights to see. If you feel abnormally poor sighted at night time and you're worried, then I would recommend that you see your local optometrist for a more thorough look. Now that's a very simplified answer to your question. Here is a more detailed look. We as human species are diurnal. It means that we are most active during the day. Diurnal and nocturnal species have different anatomical structures. Nocturnal animals such as cats and bears have specialized structures that help them see. Take for example, the tapetum lucidum. Sounds like a spell, I know, and it works like magic too. It's a reflective structure that amplifies the amount of light hitting the retina. It works like a high-vis vest, as it reflects light hitting it, but like in your eye. Human eyes need enough light energy to be activated to its full potential. So, during nighttime, when the main source of light, which is our sun, goes down, and the amount of light available decreases, then it's only natural for our eyes to struggle to see. There's an entirely separate topic called dark noise that mathematically models the signal detection theory, which I absolutely love, but that's beyond the scope of this video, so I'll skip over that. Our ability to see at night can also be explained by the fact that there is less contrast in the dark. This is most evident when you're driving. Here is a pedestrian crossing during the daytime. We will observe what happens to it as it gets darker into the night. And on this side, we'll put down the luminance level. Remember, luminance is what we commonly call brightness. The brightest part of the image will signal the highest point on the graph, and the darkest parts will signal the lowest points. It's the difference between the top area and the bottom area that we perceive as contrast. Notice that the luminance level between the whites and the blacks flatten as we take away light. There is less luminance coming from the white part of the image, and the black part already is zero, so it stays at zero. The smaller the difference, the harder it is for us to see. We can only differentiate detail using the means of contrast. Without it, we wouldn't see anything. So, intuitively, less light means that there is less contrast, which ultimately will lead to bad vision. Now, how can we explain this optically? We know that during nighttime our pupils dilate, allowing more light to enter through. But having a larger entrance pupil means that the eyes will start experiencing issues such as aberrations and astigmatism. The light rays on the periphery bend stronger compared to the paraxial rays, meaning that the vision essentially becomes smudged. This is evident when you look at street lights at night. It produces that halo thing. Some people also suffer from night myopia, which is when the focal point of the eye shifts closer, effectively making you temporarily short-sighted. And for those who already suffer from conditions like astigmatism, low light will exacerbate the issue. But going back to the question, is this night blindness? True night blindness is actually very rare, and are commonly associated with conditions such as cataracts and retinitis pigmentosa. So just remember, it's normal for your vision to be bad during nighttime because our eyes are not designed that way. But for a more thorough diagnosis, I would still recommend seeing your optometrist.